Hello everyone, today I'm going to be doing the 4.3 course practice for the geometry periodic in week 9. Uh, just from now, sorry if my voice sounds a little tired or anything wrong with it, I'm a little bit sick. Okay, here we go. For this question, M and K is similar to X, Y, Z. M, S, this side equals 18. N, K, this side equals 45. Y, Z, this side equals 10. For questions like these, this is about like a third of the section, is just knowing this question, how to solve it. You need to find like the ratio of the two triangles. So what I'm talking about, you'll see as I do the question, and K and Y, Z, those are the same side on similar triangles, yeah? And to make sure it is over here, N, K, Y, Z, they're the same, like, or like same order in the three letters that gives you for the name of the triangle so you do 45 over 10 and then you have 18 but you don't have XR they want that side so you just put as X a variable for now that you're gonna solve for uh, you're gonna need to simplify the fraction that you like fully have both integers as much as you can to help make the question easier you can do it without it but to make it like as easy as possible, you can simplify. There are multiple ways to solve this. You can try cross multiplying, but my way, which I like to do, is you simplify to nine over two, 45 is nine times five, 10 is two times five, equals 18 over x. It's very obvious, nine times what equals 18, two which means two times two equals x, the answer is four. Exact same question over here, just different numbers. A, B, 25, M, N, five, B, R, 20. It wants N, Q, 25 over five equals uh, 5 over x simplify with no uh, 20 my bad simplify 5 over 1 equals 20 over x 5 times 4 equals 20 so 1 times 4 equals x x equals 4 here's statements and reasons we need to prove that fg is parallel to ji when it gives you a proof like this with a, a vertical angle in between two triangles it's definitely going to involve alternate interior angles and uh, sas you basically for statements and reasons you just need to memorize it exactly because that's how it's going to come in the exam and it might come in the written too angle fhj so angle h is congruent to angle also h it's the same angle here, just in different triangles, because here you notice the two lines form a cross, which means it's vertical. Vertical angles are congruent. Angle GFH over here is, uh, is congruent to JIH over here. We, it already proved for us that the two triangles are similar by SAS, which means the answer is corresponding angles of similar triangles are congruent because they're similar triangles and they're corresponding so you get it fg is parallel to ji they already uh, proved everything except this one which is the result over here like i told you this is most probably going to involve alternate interior angles over here it wanted us to prove that these two angles specifically are congruent, so you know that there's something to do with those. You know this step has to prove that these two are parallel, and this line links between those two. The angles are congruent, so it's alternate interior angles are congruent, which means those two are parallel. This question is the same as the first two. M and K is similar to XYZ, MS equals 35, NL equals 25, XR equals 14. MS 35, NL 25, XR 14. 
35 over 14 equals 25 over x simplify 5 over 2 equals 25 over x 5 times 5 equals 25 so 2 times 5 equals x which is 10 for this one it's like pretty much the bare basics of the section uh, flip this triangle over to the same orientation as the other one 5 the hypotenuse is 13 this side is 12 is similar to 10 a and this side just ignore it since it doesn't want it it wants the value of a 10 over 5 is equal to a over 12 5 times no, uh, simplify 2 over 1 equals a over 12 1 times what equals 12 12 so 2 times 12 equals a which is 24 here it's the same concept as most of the previous questions 6 over 3 this side and this side equals 8 over 4 this side this side equals 12 over x so if you simplify all of these 1 over 2 no uh, 2 over 1 2 over 1 equals 12 over x 2 times what equals 12 6 so 1 times 6 is x which is 6 it wants them to be similar by the SSS similarity theorem which means all the sides the ratios are constant what's the value of x over here it wants proportional okay so we have to label the sides for now to make it easier on ourselves abc for the larger triangle and then for the smaller one over here de we need to prove that these two triangles are similar which means we need to prove the ratio is proportional for these so ad over ab which is 12 over a, B, B is the whole side, so 12 plus 4, 16. 12 over 16 equals 9 over here, this side, over X, which is the side we want. Simplify as much as we can. 3 over 4 equals 9 over X. 3 times th what equals 9? 3. 4 times what equals X? 3 also, which means X equals 12. triangle LMN is similar to which one of these by which theorem it's giving us the order L number one M number two and number three so over here since M is two before it is Q so Q is number two and P in the same stuff as N so P is number three LQP by what theorem since we if we do the math here 5 over 20 equals 7 over 28 it does because they both end up equaling 1 over 4 so these sides are uh, similar and in both triangles both triangles have angle L LNM and LPQ so it's SAS, two sides similar and one angle in common. What's the value of x? Literally the exact same question, same number, same anything, it's 12. What must be the value of x for the two triangles to be similar by the SSS theorem? 16 over 8, same thing as the first two questions, the fourth question and all those. 16 over 8 equals 14 over x 16 over 8 is 2 over 1 equals 14 over x 2 times what equals 14 7 1 times what equals x 1 times 7 x equals 7 
BM and AN are altitudes, so are DP and EQ. If BM over here equals 12, AN equals 8, and then DP equals what? Same thing again, 21 over 14 equals it wants DP, so X over 12. Simplify, 3 over 2 equals X over 12. 2 times 6 equals 12. So 3 times 6 equals X, X equals 18. What must the value of x be for the two triangles to be similar by the SS SAS similarity theorem if the triangles cannot be similar until 999? Most of the times until 999 is just a trap, so you want to ignore that, unless in certain cases, mostly in algebra, like that one question we got in the algebra periodic. Okay, 8 over here this side. This side is congruent to that because 45 is here. Usually when it gives you an angle, you want to kind of use that to know which angles are similar to what, which sides. The one opposite to 45 is 8 over 4. The one kind of like, the til basically so over here we have one flat and then one kind of tilted so we can use that. Uh, it's 18 over 9, this side over here, CB and DE equals 2 over 1 in both cases and then we have 12 over x same thing 2 times 6 equals 12 1 times 6 equals x for the final question this one same thing with the ratios 15 over 12 equals 12 over x plus 1 for this one, we can use the other method of solving all these, which is cross multiplication. That will just make our lives way easier. Uh, 15x plus 15 equals 120. Bring that over here. 15x equals 105. 105 divided by 15, 7. So the answer x plus 1, 7. No, x plus 1 is 8, which means the answer is 7. Okay, everyone, good luck on the exams. And again, sorry, my voice kind of sounds a little tired or anything. It's just I'm sick. Sick. What do you mean sick? Oh, God damn it. <laughs>